Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 112 of our Enigmatica 6 Expert Let's Play series, where today we are working on getting our Well of Suffering set up and automating the production of uh, all of our slates. Blank, reinforced, imbued, and demonic. It's pretty, uh, actually fairly simple to do. I like it. Let's get started. Welcome back, my friends, to another wonderful day here in the world of the Andrada and Enigmatica 6 Expert, where today we are, uh, well, continuing where we had left off last episode with our uh, blood magic setup. So in between episodes, I went ahead and did the thing over here and I taught this Xnet guy how to make pretty much everything possible inside of this crafter, uh, which is all going to be over here. Ignore the sounds of the breaking glass over there. We'll talk about that in a second. But basically, that is everything that is in here. Uh, there have been some comments iterating on, you know, this setup and everything and how we could improve it. Uh, and basically, what everybody's saying is that uh, by filtering or only allowing one item into each slot, I really didn't need to do this because it's only allowed to put one in there. So even if I dumped two new at God shards in, it would only put one in a slot. And since I have it on um, blocking mode with the with the redstone link and everything, it's literally only gonna put exactly the right amount of stuff in here. So this whole portion is unnecessary. It's not needed, but it's okay. We got it. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. I also went ahead and set priorities on these. Uh, so that way it inserts uh, in priority because as you can see here there are some recipes that overlap like this has essence of death and nocturnal powder this has essence of death and nocturnal powder uh, there's essence of death over here or nocturnal powder here and what was happening is, is sometimes it would it it wouldn't move on so like if essence of death or nocturnal powder was here and it put the nocturnal powder in this slot uh, or essence of death or whatever. Anyway, it was getting jammed up. And so priorities makes it so that it goes in a circle. Uh, and I was told that the priorities in Xnet are backwards. So you actually want to have them higher up, up to bottom or up to bottom. Yes. Uh, top to bottom. So what was that? Four, three, two, one. So the higher the priority, the, uh, I mean, I guess it makes sense. So, but yeah, it's gonna have a priority of six. So it's gonna put these items in first and then this and then this and then this and then this and this, and then it works, no issues there. My only issue was I ran out of life essence. And as you can see, we have no uh, levels. We're back down to eight levels because I accidentally uh, killed myself while stabbing myself with our blood magic. But we're working on changing that. We don't, we're, we're working on uh, eliminating the need for me to stab myself anymore. And one way that we're doing so is right here, modular routers and a light well uh, with our slate ampules. Our slate ampules are made by our lovely bloody bee. Uh, and I saw this on the discord, but if you take a slate ampule, put it in a light well, you get a bucket of essence. It, it contains 500. That doubles how much uh, essence you get out of it. What is this? Deep slate lamp. So anyway, I have a uh, light well set up here with a modular router with slate ampules in it, and it's all bound to entangle blocks at home. Of course, that's how we do things. Uh, and it's just maintaining this, dumping these ampules in here, and then getting us essence. And if we pop back home and we look inside of our system, we have 2,000 buckets of life, life essence uh, already ready to go. And it's chilling right here inside of this advanced black hole tank. We're going to be able to hold 65,000, uh, but we'll, we'll eventually hold more, of course, because we're going to be setting up our, you know, our, our, what's it called? Our blood altar with our sacrifice and our displacement runes. So that thing's going to be full and we're going to use that to manage our stuff. And so what I did was in, in between episodes, looked on the discord because I needed to figure out exactly what our need is going to be rune wise for all this. And this is what uh, has been the most common thing in the discord. Okay. This is set up by um, uh, Motoko uh, mute tiefling and everything. This is the, this is the setup that, uh, they are using right now and it works fantastic and recommended setup, I guess you could say, or at least a, uh, a working setup. So for our sacrifice altar or yeah, our sacrifice altar, we are going to need a total of 20 acceleration runes, eight capacity runes, 24 augmented capacity, 28 displacement runes and 28 sacrifice runes. No way I'm making any of this stuff now. Uh, we are, we, it's not going to happen anytime soon, but it, we are going to ramp up to this. Okay. So 
right now what I have is eight displacement runes and eight sacrifice runes. That's where I'm at. Uh, I might be able to steal some capacity runes from our other guy, but we're going to be sucking all of this out. So I don't know if it really makes too much of a difference. I think, honestly, I think that this is if we were going to... Uh, because having that augmented capacity in there is going to make it so it's going to hold a ton in that altar. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens when we get down to it. And then for our crafting setup, uh, same setup, 20 acceleration, 8 capacity, 24 augmented capacity, 16 charging runes, 28 displacement runes, and 12 speed runes. And then this is what we'll do all of our crafting into. And with this setup here, you are able to create the ethereal uh, slate. Uh, ethereal slate. One at a time, 200,000 LP, you can put it in there and it'll make the ethereal slate or it can make 64 of any of the other slates as far as I understand. <clears throat> uh, just like right off the bat without having any issues. So yeah, that's 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 the setup that we have. We don't have that right now. What we have is eight displacement runes that are gonna go into our crafting altar and then I have eight displacement runes and uh, I should have eight runes of sacrifice. Did I mess up that? I must have. Uh, let's go ahead and kick off two more runes of sacrifice. I have most of the stuff available. I'm only able to make few of these, and I don't want to burn through all of my slates just yet. But we are going to uh, figure out how to automate all of this stuff. So anyway, let's pop over to our mob tower and get set up down here. So uh, as we have, uh, I added these vector plates here because these guys kept spawning over here. So no more spawning here. Witches are doing good. We're doing great here. Uh, we have no experience. to. Oh, wait, we have a clump. Let's get some let's get some experience, you know. I don't like that number being so low. Give me that. Yeah. Bam, bam. Uh witches are doing good. I did come down here and kill some witches so that I could get a witch uh spawn egg. Didn't take terribly too long thanks to capturing 5. Uh it was actually pretty easy, but we I'm going to use witches for now for our spawner for our well of suffering until I can get uh, a parrot and swap it over to a parrot. But anyway, so we pop down here. This is our setup. Uh, I built our tier. It's it's built out for a tier five altar, though it is only a tier four at the moment. Um, these are going to eventually swap out to beacons, but they are just placed like temporary placements. I probably honestly could make beacons. Do I have nether stars? I have a few. It's funny that I haven't automated nether stars at all yet. I could replace them with the beacons really if I wanted to, but there's not really any point. We're not we're not there yet. We don't have the the runes to be able to set this up to a tier five. But anyway, so we have a tier four altar here. It is sitting with absolutely nothing in it and no runes. We're going to go ahead and swap out some of these runes right off the bat here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these blank runes out of here. And we're going to grab our eight displacement runes. So that way we can get liquid out of this guy. And it's going to be slow. It's not going to be the fastest thing in the world, but it'll work. And we're actually not even going to pump any liquid out of this until we can get most of the runes that we need uh, going. We're going to automate the production of our blink of our, all of our runes using this altar for the time being. Uh, and then how about my other runes of sacrifice? Sacrifice. You're still cooking. It, it is not the fastest thing in the world over there uh, doing the mana crafting. I probably should upgrade our spreaders to higher tiers, but uh, we'll get there. But for now, there we go. Three runes of sacrifice. And then as the other two come in, we'll uh, we'll swap them out. So we should still be at a tier four altar. Yes. Tier four. Perfect. And it has a, a capacity of 10,000, which is OK. Um, let's go ahead and pop downstairs. I got to find my elevator because this is where we're going to set up our Well of Souls uh, or our Well of Suffering. Bam. So we have a nice little room here for Well of Suffering. We'll plant our uh, our spawner right in the middle here. The witches are going to have no AI and everything and the parrots eventually will have no AI. So we're not going to have to worry about anything, you know, spawning in. Let's try and find room center. Looks to be about here. That's good enough. So this is where our spawner is going to be. And then we're going to go ahead and build out the well. Uh, and I did go ahead and stab myself to get some LP into our system. I think I should have like 75,000. Yeah, close, close to it. It cost me 400 levels to get there, but we got there. OK, so let's go ahead and I don't know exactly how. Oh, that was not intended. Um, Let's get the cardboard box back. What I want to do is place you there. There we go. 
Let's get the master ritual stone set up here and see how large does this ritual end up getting. The book should tell me, right? Like, I just, I want to make sure well of suffering. So the master ritual stone, and it looks like it's going to go down one, two, three blocks at the most. So if I were to set the ritual, master ritual stone up one higher, maybe two higher. Does it, does it go above? at all okay so it's one above the master ritual stone so this should be good and that'll touch the uh touch the roof there i'll i'll bring it down once so that the way there's a gap and then we should be able to do this uh master master ritual stone there we go and then if i take my ritual diviner i have my ritual stones here and we uh scroll through this uh or shift right click we can go ahead and select our ritual which is going to be the Well of Suffering. We're just going to click through. Oh, oh, you can't go backwards. Well, we're going to click through again to get to the Well of Suffering. And then all we got to do is hover over this and it'll show you. Oh, that's nice. It, it does show you a render of what it's going to look like overall. And then you just got to right click and it's going to place the blocks and it's going to convert them over to their, uh, you know, fire ritual stone, their, their element of ritual stone. Bam. And then once it finishes, you're good and you don't need a ritual diviner anymore for this. OK, so then uh, I believe all we have to do is activate this bad boy with our weak activation crystal. A rush of energy flows through the ritual and that should have drained out 75,000 LP or 40,000 LP. Yeah, and it did. So we know that it worked. Perfect. OK, we're getting there. We're making progress. And so now we just got to get our witches set up, but I think I need to use my ritual tinkerer to tell it where to put the essence. Attack mobs within its damage zone and puts the LP into a nearby blood altar. Okay. All mobs within this area will take damage every second or so until they die. This does not include players. Area searches for a blood altar to deposit into. Perfect. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. So if I go up here, does our altar fall within range it does okay perfect so it's going to be able to deposit into this blood altar that's what i wanted to see and it looks like this is going to be its killing floor maybe now things are going to spawn without um all mobs within this area take damage i don't see an area listed so it, maybe it's just everything that spawns in this area okay uh, so then what I want to do is go ahead and modify our spawner. Just as we have before, we're going to go ahead and give it a redstone link. We're going to get a spawner agitator going and all that stuff. So I'll be right back. Uh, this is currently the skeleton spawner that we had before, uh, but we're going to change it up to witches and then we'll see how this is going to work for us. Okay, so we have witches spawned in. They are taking damage. That is very annoying. Oh, and they have, man, it put the silverfish on their heads too. That's annoying. Thank goodness they spawned with no... Uh, AI. We are going to turn off the sound of witches in this area. This is going to be our uh, WOS witch. Turn that off. Turn that off. Turn that off. Okay. No witches. I, there was the silent one that I could put on there so that we didn't have to hear anything, but I think uh, that didn't, you know, I, I didn't add silent to this. I forgot to. Uh, let's go ahead and also, since I know that that's going to actually spawn with the silverfish, we're going to turn those guys off too. But uh, they are taking damage. They're doing the thing. So if we pop up here, we should have... Oh, look at that. We have a full blood altar. All right. Nice. Full blood altar ready to go. So then what we need to do is figure out how the heck are we going to automate our, um, our production of all of our different runes, right? Because... We have a ton. We have our slates. I'm sorry. Now we have blank slates already in the system uh, from, you know, regular crafting, but we need to automate the production of all of these. I want like 256 of each sitting here on at, at hand available whenever we need them. Uh, so let's go ahead and set up a couple barrels here for now and uh, item transporters from industrial foregoing. And let's get two of these. Two sets of them, at least. Uh, so these, I've used them in the past. They're actually pretty nifty little uh, things, but they're... Uh, what was the mod called? I can't remember what the name... It's in 1.12. It allows for you to move items between these. It, it looks exactly the same as this. Like it, This is literally like a, a faithful recreation of said mods. Um, 
But anyway, basically what's going to happen is stone is going to be in here and you're going to go there and then you are going to pull out into there. And these do have a filter, I believe. Yes. So what you can do is you can whitelist in the inventory and you can regulate that slate. So if I say I want, um, for example, I want blank slates, right? But I want how do I change the number? Oh, you scroll wheel to change. I want, you know, 64 blank slates. Let's just do 64. Oh, and you can shift to do multiple. Oh, and you can do whole stacks. Hold, hold, blah, blah, blah. whole stacks with control. Shift goes up uh, 16. So quarter stack. Cool. So if I want 64 of those and I want 64 of those, minus one. Then I take stone, or it is the other stone, right? It's these other stone slates. What should happen is if I... Okay, we're, we're experimenting here, right? And you are going to whitelist that, but only one at a time. Regulate mode, only one. We only want to allow one other stone slate to come into this. So if I put this in there, it should put one other stone slate. It's going to convert it over into a blank slate and then put it into this barrel, right? Okay, so I put that into the barrel. Now, if I put 64 of these blank slates, or there's a total of 65, what should happen is this is going to convert over to a blank slate, and it should not extract. It should not be allowed to extract because there's already 64 in here. Correct. Look, it's going to convert over, and it'll just swap over to a reinforced slate and then start dumping into the system. Ah, oh, that is fantastic. This works great. So if you ever want to automate this, this is this is a fantastic way to do so. We could probably even um, take all of our stuff out of this. Dump it all into here. And then um, so that'll pull a blank slate. No, it's going to probably pull. Actually, to be honest, I don't know what it's going to do because there's 64 reinforced. It's probably going to go to demonic. And it'll just put as many demonic as it really wants to in here. Okay, so we're going to go with you and we're going to go 64 of you. And then lastly, well, we don't have any ethereal and I'm not going to tell it to make ethereal. That would be ridiculous. Okay, so basically then I just need to calculate out, you know, we would need how much other stone to be able to do this and just keep that in stock here. The only thing I would like to do is be able to turn it off. Um, hmm. Like if this chest has that, don't pull from this chest. Don't continue to make these. Or we could. Does it really make a difference? Eventually we're going to get more sacrifice. So each time we sacrifice those witches, it's going to be creating tons and tons of buckets. So is it really going to make too much of a difference? I'm not sure. What we could do, you know what? Uh, that's what we could do. We're going to go ahead and get two entangled blocks. Bam. And we're going to bind this one. Let's go ahead and head home. Go home. Okay, so we are going to set up an external storage on the one. So that way all of our slates, they're all going to sit out there, um, but they're going to uh, be uh, accessible by our system. So we're going to set an external storage, and then we're going to set up an exporter. And we want other stone slates these things and the system knows how to make those right yes and we have the stuff we need to make those flux dust we need to get flux dust automated that will be our only bottleneck for this whole process okay right because other stone is uh okay well actually you don't know how to make other stone i could trade it with the dude yeah we can do the dude trade external storage and then an exporter so what we're going to do is, so we have the one block that is entangled. That's going to be bound to our system. That's going to have an external storage sitting on it. So then all those slates that we have now, we can see them. Uh, let's just go ahead and put this. Who knows? We have an external storage here. So we can, I guess this is our external storage area. So sure, you can just come there. You're going to be bound to that barrel. 
you are going to be an external storage on there and you are going to be that. So now if I look up slates, we should see them back in our system. Perfect, exactly what I wanna see. Okay, so then what we wanna do is export to this one, uh, other stone, but we're gonna regulate it, right? We're gonna say when we have uh, demonic slates, when we have 64 demonic slates in the system, don't worry about it, don't do, don't do any more. So we're also going to need a detector. Hopefully that shouldn't take terribly too long. Well, while it's doing it, we can go over to our mob tower, head all the way downstairs to here. And we just need, we need to bind the other guy. Bam. But look at that. Look, we're staying full. Blood altar is full of essence. We're out of other stone slates, obviously. So it didn't continue crafting up anymore, but that's okay. I think this is going to work fairly well, actually. TBH, TBH. Let's get our detector and we can bind you. So you're going to be the input. So you are going to be the, uh, let's get the sign. What are these things called? Uh, other stone slate. Other stone slate in. And then we are going to set an exporter. And you are going to uh, export, and we're actually going to get a regulator upgrade too. I only want one of these. I don't want it to fill up the chest. Let's get our detector going. So the detector can go ahead and sit here. You are going to detect demonic slates, and you are going to emit when under 64. So it should be good. You are only going to operate with a redstone signal. You're going to get the regulator upgrade in you, so you can only put one at a time. And we're going to do other stone slate one and then last thing that we're going to need for this is a crafting upgrade so that you can request the other stone slates as needed perfect so now that's going to keep one other stone slate in that inventory at all times so we'll end up with one extra really is what's going to end up happening but uh it'll keep going until the demonic slates are at 64 and the demonic slates are the last in the crafting process right it goes blank to in it goes blank to reinforced to demonic so it'll it'll keep going until the demonics are at 64 and then it'll stop putting other stone slates in here so ultimately we'll end up with 65 demonic slates but that's okay um i need to go and last thing is that external storage that i have needs to be set to priority so that way when i put this demonic slate back in there it goes into this chest so that it's able to be uh you know where it belongs and that's that's automating that like, I think that's going to work fantastic. And basically what I'm going to do now is AFK uh, until all of those are done, because we need that's my bottleneck, right? In order to make more of these runes, if I wanted to craft up another 64 displacement runes, I need uh, imbued slates, 256. I missed imbued slates, didn't I? I jumped the gun. Yeah, imbued. Now you are you're the tier three one. Do I have any imbued slates? No. Can I grab that one? Yes. Whether it was going to affect things or not, I have no idea. But, and I kind of want them to be in order. That's just my, uh, that's just me. So we're going to do this and this. Imbued slate is going to go there. Demonic slate there. 64 of each. Okay. And eventually I'll bump these numbers up. We'll do, you know, I'll probably do 256 of each because, like I said, if I wanted to request, uh, so we have the displacement runes now, and eventually we'll get those set up to pull into our system. Uh, but like the sacrifice runes, I want to make more sacrifice. Or right, we currently have six there. I should have uh, what happened? Something jammed up over here. Then the living rock. Something happened. Is my red rune recipe set up properly? It may not be. You do that, and then I'm going to have to manually... Uh... Or the living rock got picked up. Where's my wand of the forest? YouTuber blindness is real. Do I even have one in here? Uh, wand? No, that's... Wand. It does not look like I have one in here. Okay. Maybe it's in here. Yeah. 
There we go. Uh, smack it. Perfect. We gotta figure out, I don't know why the living rock got picked up. What would have picked it up? I don't quite know. But, uh, also, did I request seven more displacement runes? I don't remember doing that. Something's, something's flubbed up. Let's cancel everything. Sacrifice. We're gonna put this all away. I just wanted two of you. Yeah, now it's actually just gonna, it's just gonna craft them. Oh, uh, I swapped this out. I did the thing again. That's why. Okay, great. Now I got to fix this massive mess. Come on. There we go. There we go. That explains it. I had to swap this out to get the, uh, you know, a, a gold crafter in there because we ran out of room and it flubbed everything up. No wonder I was having issues. Rune of Sacrifice 2, now Redstone Pulse should insert the craft, and we should only get one dropping. There we go. Goodness gracious. Okay, so that's working. Fix that now. We're good to go. Uh, we have our runes being automated. I'm going to slowly, as time goes on here, we're going to start working on upgrading these things. So that is going to be, we now need 20 sacrifice. We're going to go ahead and mark that off. 20 sacrifice and 20 displacement. Perfect. See, look, we're getting there. And then what we're going to do is uh, our blood altar, our regular blood altar is going to come up here, right? We're going to set this up here. Uh, we're going to end up having to move this automation, but that's okay. It's really free. Uh, the XNet controller should remember all of its stuff. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens there. I may have to reteach everything, uh, but that's okay. But we'll move this elsewhere. Uh, actually, I'll probably cardboard box it, to be honest, and then lay everything out the same way. This guy, we're out of slate ampules, right? I'm assuming. Yep. And that's why he's not working. But as slate ampules come in, we'll get essence. So I, I think I had like 300 slate ampules. So that should have been, uh, yeah, about 3,000 buckets of life essence. So we're pretty good. And then we just need to get that stuff put into here. So I'll start working on getting these done and then we can move this over. And then for any crafts, we'll have this set up uh, and I will move our our uh, tier four over here so we don't have to go into the undergarden anymore and get that set up in between episodes so it'll be over here and then we'll start working on uh you know swapping out the the runes and everything as needed for our crafting and starting to automate all the stuff but i like it this setup is phenomenal uh, the well of suffering is great why didn't i set this up earlier it really wasn't that expensive and i could have saved myself a lot of hassle with stabbing myself uh, if I would have just, you know, done this in the first place. Whoa, how did all of you get in here? Uh, you know why? Oh, and that's where my runes of sacrifice went. You know what's going on is I don't have this blacklisted. I need it. It's set as an external storage. It's set to insert into here as well. I don't want that. Or, well, I mean, that's fine, but I need to... Uh, Make sure that the only thing that's allowed in there, whitelist, there we go, is going to be these things. It was using that as general storage. <laughs> Freaking jerk. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, so that should be everything that we need. I'm going to go pop down, make sure nothing else got shoved in there. We did get our two extra sacrifice runes, so that's good. Our witches are running fantastically. I'd like to get the parrots eventually, uh, but the, the, the witches run well for now and then i can i can work on getting the parrots on oh, that's why things got jammed up it was storing stuff in here but if we get the parrots set up that will get us more lp per uh parrot that spawns in though at the same time does it uh you know the witches they just they just don't die and they're spawning with armor so these may even be the same witches that we had initially that were in here and we could even we could even move the spawner elsewhere and then have the witches uh, spawn somewhere else, fall into an R's portal and come over here. That way they don't hit the spawn cap because we're hitting the spawn cap right now. Ten. Yeah. Max entities is ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. I'll probably do that. I'm going to move this and then we will get the witches to spawn elsewhere. That way they uh, don't hit a spawn cap and then I'll just have them all spawn like an R's portal right here and then we don't have to worry about it we can have like 200 witches in here and everything the more that you have the more essence you're going to be getting and we want more essence overall so yeah I think that's going to be good
Anyway, that's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it, and it really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.